Solving a word problem involving rates and time conversion. We're told we have a car traveling at an average speed of 68 miles per hour. 68 miles per hour. How many miles does it travel in 4 hours and 15 minutes? How many miles? So how many miles? That's going to be our X. Now, since we've done proportions recently, I'm going to set up this problem as a proportion. And starting off with that first piece of information, we're told 68 miles per hour is how fast the car is going. So if I put miles on the top and I put hours on the bottom, that would be 68 miles in one hour. And then on the other side of the proportion, I just have to also put miles on the top. And since we don't know miles, we were calling that X. And on the bottom, I put the time, how many hours. But we've got hours and we've got minutes. So for now, I'm just going to write it as 4 hours and 15 minutes. To convert that to hours, that would be, you know, we could do decimals, but I'll do it as a fraction that would be 15 sixtieths of an hour so that we have that fraction. Now the first thing we always like to do whenever we have a problem that has fractions is simplify those fractions so that 4 hours and 15 sixtieths the 15 sixtieths 15 goes into 15 once 15 goes into 60 four times so we could call that 4 hours and a quarter. So now that we have our proportion set up, we can solve these by multiplying diagonally. In this direction, I would have 68 times 4 and a quarter equals when I multiply in the other direction, I've got 1 times x, which is just x. So we've got it set up, ready to solve. To do this multiplication on the left-hand side here, in the blue though, I've got a mixed number being multiplied with a whole number. So what I want to do is write that whole number as a fraction, 68 over 1, and write the mixed number as an improper. So that 4 times 4 is 16, plus the 1 at the top, gives me 17 over 4. So that's our multiplication. And before we multiply, we always want to look to see if anything cancels. And in this case, the 4 goes into 4 once. The 4 goes into 68, actually 17 times. So that we're left with 17 times 17 over 1 times 1. Well, the 17 times 17 is 289. 1 times 1 is 1, so we don't need to write that. That is our x, 289. So just to look back at the question, the question was, how many miles does the car travel in 4 hours? The car will go 289 miles.